When you're refining projects, you might want to add more features and make it a bit more complicated, so it can do more things for you. When you're operating portable, you might want to instead make it lighter and smaller, yet still do the things that you want from it. That's what I'm going to describe today, what I call the Wade Tenor DX. You've probably seen my previous video on the Wade Tenor, a pedestrian mobile antenna that I can use on frequencies from 7 through to 50 megahertz. I use it pedestrian mobile, normally walking in the water, I've got a backpack and this telescopic squid pole antenna that I have the radiating element strung along it. Then around my ankle I have this aluminium ring that keeps it in salt water which improves performance particularly on lower HF bands. The Wade Tenor DX is very similar but it doesn't do quite as many bands. It only works from 14 through to 28 megahertz. Cutting that back though does make it a bit simpler, smaller and lighter which may be useful for some applications. Here's what it includes. Just like with the original Wade Tenor, it's a plastic chopping board in a backpack and a 5.4 metre telescoping fishing pole. That provides the support for the radiating element which is this piece of thin insulated wire. Now the same length as with the Wade Tenor except there's no loading coil in the middle. That coil was only used for 7 megahertz and I didn't need to cover 7 megahertz with this version so I've left it out. It's a bit hard to see because it's clear plastic but a flexible bit of plastic that goes over the top, the thin bit of the telescopic rod that holds it up and right here is the lug that connects into the antenna coupler. The antenna coupler is a lot lot simpler than before. Whereas before I had a rotary switch and an iron powered toid so I could get different inductance values, this time I've simplified it down to one value only, one microhenry. The variable capacitor goes up to about 200 picofarad. So there's the BNC that plugs into the antenna socket on the FT817, a banana socket which goes to the bit of wire that goes in the water, and then here is the antenna socket that goes to the radiating element that you just saw before. So to use this you just set it up, tune for maximum noise and make any adjustments if required to get to lowest VSWR. And with this length of wire I can get operation on all bands from 14 through to 28 megahertz. As for the ground element there's three options. This is the metal ring that with some velcro strap goes around my ankle and I use that when I'm wading in salt water or if I'm just on land or sand I could just use this bit of wire trailing radial I don't like to use it because it can get caught in bushes, trees, shrubs dogs can chase after it but it's an option and that again just plugs into this socket Finally, if you've got something metal nearby, like a metal pier, then you can just clip this onto it and use that instead if you're operating stationary and not walking along. This is a closer look at the coupler, where my finger is, is the connection to the transceiver. In line with the centre pin is the one microhenry inductor. That goes to the variable capacitor and then to the antenna connection. The other side of the variable capacitor just goes to the aluminium frame, which connects to the earth on the transceiver side as well. 
And that's also where the ground counterpoise plugs in. All set up and ready to go. Now standing in the water, that's changed the tuning point on the variable capacitor, but I can still get one to one as indicated by the FTF. Oh, Roger, Roger, I'm now walking along the sand. I'm now walking along the sand. I'll now go in the water. I'm now walking in the water, that might improve the signal. That might improve the signal. Uh, just walking in the water right now. VK6 FNLW, VK3YE pedestrian mobile. Just standing in water, just up above my ankles, and uh, using the same antenna as before. Same antenna as before. If you were still there, Peter, if you dropped out, dropped down a bit slightly, if you feel stronger when whilst you're walking in the water. Um, what is the length? What is the length of the antenna that you are carrying with you there? Uh, over. Yeah, yeah, QSL there, Peter. You are also a very good uh, signal. Steady F9, 5.5, 5.5 uh, signal. And with, uh, with uh, the QSB sort of has seemed to have dropped off also somewhat. VK3YE, Just one contact, but it was quite interesting to prove the difference between when I was on the pier using either a radial or connected to the pier railing. That was really good. Then when I went pedestrian mobile with this setup, I was just on the sand and I could be heard, but not so good. Then when I stepped into the water, the signals came up again. This was with VK6FNLW. Onslow, Pilbara area of rest in Australia, or a distance of maybe 3,000 kilometres. And that was on 15 metres. So 
that is showing that 15 meters is coming up conditions are getting better and definitely worthwhile to be considering pedestrian mobile on that band just off the beach not quite pedestrian mobile but I thought I'd just try seeing if I can get a contact just on the bench here VK3YE, VK4M. Um, yeah, not very strong here, about a, maybe it's about a strength 4, but uh, Q5 modulation, go ahead. Yeah, no problem. I, um, I, I heard, I, I, I've seen a couple of your videos, mate. I, I know that you, you operate Q, QRP pretty much um, full time, and uh, you know, you've, you've got the nice beaches and park benches around there, so I've, I've seen a couple of your videos. Congratulations, mate. Yeah, but you've got to, like I say, you're not that strong, but you've got a great signal, like good audio, really good audio. VK3YE, VK4M. The name this way is Adam Alpha Delta Alpha Mike, by the way. Yeah, well, you're doing a good job, mate. That, that, that five metre um, pole that you're using, I'm guessing it's one of those Haverford poles or something similar. It, mate, you're doing really well. And pedestrian mobile, I've never tried that. <laughs> I don't think I ever will. VK3YE, VK4IM. Okay, okay, 2RZ, Zulu Lima 1, Whiskey November beaming, Europe in the Middle East. Yeah, VK3 Yankee Echo, pedestrian mobile. I did hear you there a little bit earlier ago talking to Adam VK4 India Mike. Uh, when you were calling the Hotel Golf Pipe uh, uh, Hungry Station, you were a bit stronger than what you are now, Pete, but I can hear you, mate. You're about 5 and 4, 54, are you? Yeah, no problems at all. <laughs> No problems. I, uh, I also have watched, uh, I know Adam mentioned that he'd watched uh, some of your videos on YouTube, so uh, you're a bit of a character, I know that, Peter. No problems at all, mate. Thanks for the 54. Enjoy the pedestrian mobile, my friend. VK3YE, pedestrian mobile. VK4KA, over. Do you want to get the most from your portable QRP operating? Good Antennas is a great place to start. Find out how I succeed with my two books, Hand Carried QRP Antennas and More Hand Carried QRP Antennas. They're big sellers with favourable reviews from all around the world. To learn more, visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon.